she's gonna be in the rodeo. Alright, maybe guy 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 swearing on Ellen show. It's even back up to 100 degrees and yeah, it's probably one of the hottest times of the day, prime heating time of the day. So Jeffrey and I decided to take it a little bit cool for today. Sit in front of the fan, got the AC on over there. And Mr. Jeffrey <laughs> still hasn't got gotten completely dressed for the day yet, have you? Are you gonna get get dressed? Yeah. No. No. Uh, you, you need to at least brush your hair, bud. Okay. Where's Blake at? Fixing up a computer over here too. All right, it's lit later on Monday. It's at about what? 102 degrees. For the heat index. For the heat heat index is about 109. Uh, walk, walked about a mile, mile and a half. But with it being so hot and humid out, do you actually burn more calories by sweating more when it's hot and humid out, or is it still the same amount? I just stop out of that if anybody better. If anybody knows, please let me know, or at least where to look it up at. Well, anyway, I'm headed to the store, uh, computer thrift store, to pick up some parts, try to find some parts if they have anything for sale. So, we'll see what we can find. And about an hour later, still sitting at around almost 100 degrees, on the way home, Dixie Chick next to me and everything, jamming out to her jams from 11 County, wherever the hell that's from. And we decided to, we picked up another Dell Tower, pretty dusty inside, but it did boot up with some uh, memory. Uh, it did boot up and uh, we just need to hunt down a good uh, hard drive for it. And as you can tell on everything, I'm boiling in here too. So I'm going to keep an eye on the road here and head home and get some dinner and try. Hey you guys, I just got home and you know, never believe what I saw. It's just fly right in front of me. Oh, uh, where, where do you go? There's a red robin. I haven't seen one of those around here in weeks. It was right over here. Then he flew right over here. Right onto the, the fence post and now he's gone. Dang it. Robins sometimes are really hard to catch on camera. I don't know why. I don't know if they're camera shy or they know it or what. Or, or and now it is what? Uh, just about just after eight o'clock, about an hour later. Still on the road. Just got done at uh, Walmart store getting some mods and some compressed air. Headed back home, and it's still 99 degrees. I'm still sweating right down the middle of my face here, right down my nose. Hope it cools off a little bit this week. What, no stunts? Okay, well it's 8.30 at night. Got South Park on there. The cat is just dying to go outside, but, but if he goes outside, he's gonna boil. Cause it's still, see in the backyard it says, 92. It's getting cooler, Blake, but I'm, I guess, I'm gonna have to wait a few more hours. And this is the thing we picked up today over at the uh, store. Tons of dust in it. You, you should have seen the clouds of dust. And so we're testing memory right now with the Dell Resource CD. And I'm uh, gonna go through the entire system. Still needs a hard drive, but uh, that shouldn't be too expensive. Got this along with it. This one I think is bad, and this one I know is good because it came out of another system. So, and Jeffrey's still playing on the computer. What are you watching? Oh, oh you're watching. The TV. What the hell? Over the oh. South Park. Okay, you can go to watch South Park. And it looks like the tests are finished. We get everything passed. Just in memory. So we'll see what else. We'll run a system test now. Now we're going to run test system, which will be fun. This is back 1995 through 2008, so yeah, it's kind of old, but it's good to have a backup. 
Time for the nine o'clock net, and this guy is practically whispering to me. He's with me the entire time. Right, Go figure. November zero, Zulu X ray Zulu, in and out, thanks. M zero, O L K, in and out, please. Kilowatt Bravo Zero Zulu Uniform Uniform Portable In and Out, please. We'll see if we got that one. Kilo Delta Zero Oscar November Mike In and Out, please. We're walking in the backyard. Yeah, I must have the squelch a little bit too low because this thing's just squelch crashing. Let's see if we got in there. Okay. He either has really low modulation or he's running a, a lot less power than most people do. Well, anyway, I think it's time to cut the grass back here. Okay, I'm going to turn this down real quick. See all these pears on the ground? Squirrels and the birds and the rabbits or anything have been having a field day, at least all week, with all these on the ground. So I think I'm gonna pick them up and put them in a container or in a in a corner over there, because this place this needs to be watered a bit back here and cut. So not the most exciting day. I mean, we had a a late start around 10, 30, 11 o'clock this morning and everything. We had an appointment that we all forgot about and they just showed up at the door. We had an appointment there. And uh, then a bunch of were running around and had some other people come over, pick up some stuff and been uh, throwing calls and emails left and right all afternoon to God knows how many people. So, and then all this were running around tonight, so. But at least Jeffrey had fun. He got to play on the computer pretty much all day, which I'm going to have to start to put a little bit of a, of a clamp on for that. Because school starts in less than a month. That's right, Jeffrey. No more computer time. It's been at least a week since it's been ordered. That one there we think is just about dead anyway, too. And then there are two. First, um, and she's got two little girls, I think. Right. Or three. And um, she was diagnosed with uh, bone cancer. She was diagnosed with bone cancer, right? In the leg. So she goes to the doctor. They do a checkup on her on the, the cancer or whatever. They're supposed to wait for the results. Well, on the show last week, they found out the results. Well, she was cancer-free for a while, right? Well, da, 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 da. the cancer came back. Uh, you shouldn't put that on plastic, dear. Put it on the plate. Oh, no, because I had to cut it. Okay. Okay. Mm. So, what happened was the cancer came back, right? You like eating melted plastic? Uh, 
Let's. I'm trying to say something. Yeah, you're always trying to say something. So the cancer came back. But you don't always make sense. The cancer came back, right? Yeah, right. So. Let me grab this real quick. Okay. Um, right. The thing is, Gabe and Andrew's mom and dad were not planning to go because they finally got back into the church. But then Mary goes, the mother goes, I don't care what the, 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 uh, oh, what you call it? The, uh, the bishop says, I'm going to my son's wedding, you know? I like, so, sharing my pain. There you go. So they go to the, so they go to the wedding. Cover your ears, Blake. Oh, God, no, I'm going to put him there. The father shows up, Chester. They go to the wedding, and they had this big, huge wedding and everything. And then they had this big, huge talk on the show, the last, you know, whatever, what's going to happen now and everything. Okay, get to the point, please. Well, Gabe and Andrew has a younger sister, and her name is Katie, Katie Ann. And her is, like, down here. Well, she was, first she got dressed up as an English person, not a Mormon, or a, not, not an Amish. And then she's back, back to Amish. She doesn't know what to do. So and she's on the show and she goes, well, I got a new, she goes, I got a new boyfriend and we're planning to move to, to get, I'm planning to go move in with him and I'm going to be in the rodeo. She's going to be in the rodeo. And working on another tower. This one's a little bit different. It's called an Optiplex 320. That one was a 745. Running through Dell Diagnostics right now. Make sure everything's okay. Jeffrey's still playing on the computer, and it's almost time for bed. Right, bud? Sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Jeffrey, you should put a shirt on, bud. Okay. And, and our other little boy, Blake the Cat, is outside a little bit later than he should be. But this, this is a big service elevator. This, these are pictures. Eight volume, phone. There's the four indicator. What's the capacity? Capacity? 2,500 pounds. Mm -hmm. Lots of people. There's, that capacity. there's the 